If you spent a little bit of time around the custom keyboard scene, you would have seen these amazing builds with these keycaps that you honestly can't buy. You would have had to have pre-ordered them years ago in order to actually get them. Or you happen to find a listing for them while they're still in stock for that short window. This is where something kind of controversial comes in. You see, there are actually companies that take these existing hard to get keycaps and clone them. And these clone companies have sort of garnered a bit of a reputation for being quite cheap in the grand scheme of things. So today I decided why not actually compare two keycaps that I could get my hands on that are made by two completely different companies, one more legitimate than another. So today we're gonna be looking at some puddings, both the cheap Amazon ones and the ones that weren't as cheap. Let's get into it after our intro. Hello and welcome. My name is Wolfie and you are watching Greater Than Pi. Custom keycap sets are honestly a bit of a labor of love. Many people who actually make these custom sets are members of the community themselves. They design them, they come up with their palettes, they encourage people to group buy into them and then they make it happen. And when a company comes around and it clones a set, it's honestly kind of devastating to that person. Not because the artist is completely, you know, screwed out of it, but because all of their hard work has been stolen without credit. It's much like if you use a piece of art in a YouTube video and make sure to get rid of the artist's watermark before you upload it. So it's not hard to see why that would be discouraged in the custom keyboard community. That is actually why I build Franken sets out of completely generic one color keycaps, because that way when I'm making something custom, I know that I'm not inadvertently paying into one of these clone companies, because unfortunately there are a lot of them. That being said, today what we're doing is we're gonna be taking a look at two different pudding keycaps. One that was listed on drop.com that claims to be the origin of the pudding style keycaps and another that I found on Amazon that just, just it was on Amazon. And I'm looking into the company, it doesn't seem like it's a company that makes keycaps regularly and sells to the public. It, it seems like it's probably a relisting from AliExpress. Now, if you kind of looked at these at a glance, you'd probably think that this was the more expensive one from Drop, but uh, it's actually the one in this box. Uh, it literally was shipped in a bag. Uh, so that that's kind of a, a downside to this one. But when we actually break out the keycap sets, you'll find that the one from Drop actually has extra keys, which is a good thing because uh, we are gonna be putting this on my alt keyboard, which is a 65 percenter, which has some, interesting keys in here. So uh, let's get these two set up really quickly. And we're gonna dump out the Lego set. So for example, the one from Drop actually came with three different space bars, all for different sizing. This is of course to make it easier for you to have a space bar that's compatible with the more unique sizing that custom keyboards generally have, which is a upside in comparison to our no name brand. Now, if we actually put these two side by side, they look very similar actually, but where you really start to see like a difference is in the molding and the molding quality. So there's always gonna be a little bit of scarring on any type of molded keycap, um, unless the company goes in afterward and kind of sands things down, it's always going to be a factor. But because of that, uh, one of the things that you can do to determine the quality of a keycap set is how much scarring there was from the molding. So. When you look at the ones, I think they're by Loop is the company. You've got a little bit of scarring. It looks like they did some work to kind of clean it up. But if you look at this one from Amazon, you've got a lot more scarring right here. Also, the plastic materials are very different. Like it might be easier if I could, like it's hard to tell because this is more of a feel thing, but like the this one feels 
like a cheaper type of plastic. Um, now, when it comes to the actual putting effect, like on the normal one, I don't see any like drip on it. So like, it doesn't look like the keycap is like the extrusion um, bled in, but on the one from Amazon, the ones that I actually refused to use on this build originally, there's some like in the corner right here and I can actually feel a ridge between the two plastics, which I cannot feel on here, which is a good thing on for the official ones. So when it comes down to it, like that's really the main first indicator is gonna be on quality. So when you get a set like this, even though these actually cost roughly the same, I believe this set was 25 to $30. And I believe this set was around 20 to like $25. So they're close enough in price that I would actually consider that pretty even. And the fact that like I can tell the difference like if you were to just hand me this uh, tilde key and then find a tilde key in here, switch them up, I bet you I can tell you exactly which one's which. Ooh, do I wanna do the bad or the good first? Let's do the good first. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go see how this all looks put together. Uh, we're gonna do individual typing tests for all of them as well so that you guys can hear that. And honestly, like I believe that the difference will be obvious enough uh, just from the B-roll alone. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna put the good ones together. You guys are gonna see that next. And I'm gonna do a typing test with it and then we'll put together the not so good ones. You'll see that. I'll do a typing test and then we'll even compare the two types together and I will give you my final conclusions on that. So we've got it all assembled with the aftermarket keys from uh, Amazon or probably AliExpress. And immediately I can tell a difference. Now, first off, this keycap set didn't have everything. It uh, doesn't have the proper keys for the delete home, page up, page down, and arrow. Uh, so it, it, it certainly looks a little weird. Um, also the, uh, right shift isn't the right sizing as well, but we have something that works in that place. The thing is, right, you guys have heard this keyboard. You've heard this keyboard a couple different times, but, uh, yeah, this is the worst it's ever sound at all. Like flat out this, this sounds so loud. <laughs> it just. It sounds like I've got clickies in there and I don't have clickies on here. Yeah, uh, that is interesting. Also, it's been like absorbing oil this entire time. So, uh,
So in conclusion, yeah, it, it's pretty obvious. Don't buy knockoff sets if you don't have to. Honestly, in my personal opinion, there are a lot of options, especially like the, this pudding style keycap. Uh, G Skill makes a crystal style one that has it completely clear, looks amazing, has a similar effect, and is made by a major company, and those aren't even clones. HyperX does have their own clones of the pudding style keycap set, and honestly, it looks pretty good. So, I mean, I would probably advise you to do that over whatever these are. <laughs> And especially if you're putting them onto a keyboard that's, you know, over a hundred dollars, this base and switches alone are around like 200, to be honest. It comes down to it, you probably shouldn't be buying your keycaps off of Amazon. But uh, yeah, I really didn't expect it to be that obvious. I, I was actually kind of hoping that I would ha be looking at like the B-roll and the footage and be like, I can't really tell a difference because you know they are so similar. But that's not the case. If I would have bought puddings and put these on this keyboard originally, I would have been very disappointed in my first custom keyboard. These puddings are great. These not so much. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, you can leave it a like, comment, subscribe. I would love to see your keyboard builds. So uh, if you go over to Twitter, you can actually send me a, uh, a tweet with uh, your build or even a private message if you don't want to share. But uh, I would love to see your keyboard builds, see what you guys have done. I know that there are a couple different types of putting keycaps out there. So if you got a different recommendation, I'd be happy to see them and take a look at it. But that's where we're going to end today, guys. Thank you guys again. Wolfie, out.